Hello friends, my name is Prateek and welcome back to my channel. So guys, in today's video, we are going to see all features which are present in Paytm application. So if you are using Paytm application, then what are the features we can get in terms of transaction and uh, in terms of all the options we get in terms of uh, bill payments and recharge and everything, how you can add a bank account, how you can add a debit card or credit card. So I'm going to explain all the features in today's video. So if you are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And without wasting any time, let's start the video. So at the very start, we have to open the Paytm application first. So once you start the application, uh, all you have to do is you have to enter the pattern or password, whichever thing you have set, you have to just enter that thing and you have to start the application. So once the application is completely started, this is the kind of basic interface you will be able to see on your mobile screen. Now I have already made a video on Paytm application many times. So in each and every video, there is a particular video for how you can add an account, how you can add a debit card, how you can check out your uh, balance, how you can check out your balance history and how you can change your UPI pin. So there is a dedicated video uh, for each topic on my channel. So you can check it out if you want to. So in today's video, I'm going to explain all the basic features in terms of transaction, what payment methods you get so yeah let's start so this is the kind of basic interface at the very start you can see you have an option of upi and wallet payment so under that you have an option of scan payment to mobile option so you can directly transfer money with mobile number uh, to self so this particular option over here is for transferring amount from our own account to another account and the last option is to bank account so if you want to transfer money through account number and ifsc code you can use that last option apart from that under my paytm you have an option of checking the balance and transaction history you have an option of paytm bank paytm wallet and paytm postpaid below that you can check out the accounts which you have already linked in the application if i scroll down there are much more options over here. So you can see recharge and bill payments option are present over here. So you can see it has mobile recharge and DTH recharge, electricity bill. Uh, you can book a cylinder. And if you want to do uh, credit card payments, you have that option. And also you have view more options. So if we select that on the next page, you can see there are multiple option category wise. So under recharges, you can see mobile recharge and mobile postpaid DTH recharge and Metro recharge. So these are multiple options. And if I scroll down under pay your home bills, it has we have an option of electricity bill, book a gas cylinder, pipe gas bill, uh, rent via credit card, cable TV, water apartment, broadband landline. Each and every uh, you know options are uh, your sorted category wise. So if you want to play your uh, pay your electricity bill, you can just select that particular option. And on the next page. So on the next page, uh, you can just select your particular state and state wise, you will be able to see the electricity provider. You can just select that. You can enter your customer ID and then you will be able to pay your electricity bill through Paytm application. And apart from uh, that, we also have financial services category under that it has pay credit card bill, LIC insurance, pay loan and tax and all. So there are multiple options under my recharges and bill option. So you can check out all the options category wise and you can pay the bill or you can just recharge your device if you want to let's go back and another option on the home screen is for loan and credit card so yeah almost same option are present over here in feature you get multiple options like all services refer and earn, bike insurance my circle so these are offers and these are the featured uh, options which you can set in all services you can once again select each and every option category wise as you can see each and every categories are given on the left hand side. So you can select any particular categories. If I select recharge and uh, bill payments, so you can see there are multiple options for recharge and bill payment over here. So let's go back to home screen and we have an option of ticket booking and insurance at the bottom. So yeah, just that's it. Uh, now talking about the very important thing in UPI applications are uh, we use UPI application for transaction purposes. So let's take a look at what are the main option we get, uh, we get in transaction. So to check out uh, your UPI ID, if you want to uh, check out your UPI ID on Paytm on the home screen itself, you will be able to check out your UPI ID in front of my Paytm. So this is the one thing. This is the one way. And if you want to check out UPI ID with other method, all you have to do is you have to click on profile icon on the left hand side top corner. And once it is open, you can check out your UPI ID over here. You do have an option of copy. Uh, you do get QR scanner over here. So 
if you want to uh, receive payments you can just show this qr scanner uh, qr scanner to your friend or something whoever is going to transfer your amount and he will scan this qr code and he will do the payment and yeah there are basic details name and paytm number qr scanner once again number is given at the bottom over here and if i scroll down we have an option of payment settings so under payment settings we will be able to check out the bank account so after selecting payment settings on the next page we have to select upi and linked bank accounts the very first option and now we are on the main page so you can check out the two accounts which are already added or already linked in paytm application so the first one is paytm payment bank and another one is indus in bank account now these are the two bank account which i have already added now if i want to add another bank account you do get an option of add another ba bank account over here so you have to select that option you have to select the particular uh, bank uh, in whichever your other account is so my secondary account is in kotak bank so i will select that particular bank now it is confirming through my mobile number and now you can see bank linked successfully now if i scroll down you can check out uh, i have also received a message from bank so let me uh, just remove that so now you can check out kotak bank is successfully added now if i want to uh, change my default account so my current default account is indescent bank account as you can see uh, it has been highlighted or it has been marked so indescent bank is my primary or default account if i want to change you can see you do get an option of that particular circle over there in front of each uh, bank so if i want to make kotak bank as my primary account i will just simply tap on that circle and now my primary bank account is changed to kotak so this way you can select any particular bank as your primary account as i have shown just now now apart from that uh if you want to check out your balance you do have an option of check balance below each and every bank as you can see over here so if you want to check balance all you have to do is you have to uh click on check balance and on the next page you have to enter six digit upi pin so i will do that very quickly after entering the pin all you have to do is you have to click on tick mark sign now you can see i am able to check out my balance for indus in bank account so if i want to if you want to check uh, your account balance for any particular bank you have check balance option below each and every bank now uh, you can notice uh, one uh, there are few options below each and every bank so one is remove account second one is change pin and another one is check balance so these are the common Uh, option which you can find below each and every bank now if you want to uh, delete any particular bank or if you want to delete any secondary bank account all you have to do is you have to tap on remove account and that account will be removed from the list so as you can see my current primary account is indus and bank i have added kotak bank as my secondary bank if i am not using that i am simply going to select remove account and now after few times or after few minute it will just remove that account from the bank list So now you can see Kotak Bank is been removed from the bank list. Now only two of my banks are active in PTM application. Now again uh, there is another option which is change pin. You can see that option below each and every bank. Now there are two scenarios uh, where you can change uh, your UPI pin. So one is if you don't remember your UPI pin, then you can select change pin option. And another uh, scenario is if you remember your current upi pin but still if you want to change it you have to still select change pin and after selecting that particular option on the next page we will find two options so if you don't remember your upi pin then you can just enter your card details over here and you can click on proceed so that you can change your upi pin and as i told you another scenario if you remember your upi pin but still if you want to change it you have to select i remember my old pin so you have to select that one so let's take the second scenario first so if you don't uh, if you remember your uh, upi pin but still if you want to change it all you have to do is you have to select i remember my old upi pin after selecting that we are on the next page now you can see it is asking to enter six digit old upi pin so which is uh, you have to enter your current upi pin over here so i will do that very quickly after entering the pin you just have to click on tick mark sign over here and on the next page you can see you have an option to enter new upi pin so you have to enter the new upi pin over here so i will do that once you do that all you have to do is once again you have to tap on tick mark sign and on the next page it will ask you to re enter your new pin and once you click on tick mark after doing that your 
new pin will be generated so this is uh, this option is for people who remember their upi pin you guys have to select i remember my old upi pin now if you don't remember your upi pin or if you have forgotten your upi pin you have to enter the card details over here so i will do that so once you enter the card details all you have to do is you have to click on proceed and on the next page you will receive an otp which you have to enter that uh, you have to enter that otp over there and simply uh, you get an option of changing your upi pin as the same option it was in i remember my old upi pin so these are the two ways by which you can simply change your upi pin in ptm application so let's go back now now we just saw how you can remove your account, how you can change your default account, how you can change your UPI pin, how you can check balance and how you can add another bank account. So let's go back. If you want to save any particular card, so you have an option of saved cards in payment settings. So if you select payment settings on the next page, you have to select saved cards option and you will be able to add your debit or credit card over here. So now you can see currently I have added one card. So if I want to add new card, I will just tap on add new card. Now it will show me a message that it will debit two rupees from my account for verification purpose. And once it is done, the card has been saved. And after 48 hours, you will receive that two rupees once again in your account. So you have to click on proceed over here. And on the next page, all you have to do is you have to enter the card details and you have to click on pay and then your card will be saved over here. So you will see the next card over here and add new option will be over here. So yeah these are the uh, simple ways by which you can simply add your new card over here and if you want to delete any particular card you have three dot option over here you can just click on that and you have delete option over here so if i click on delete card that particular saved card will be gone from here so let's go back if you want to do any changes uh, in your profile settings you do have an option of profile settings over here uh, under the profile option so if i go on profile settings uh, you can you will be able to uh, you know uh, do changes as per your requirement as per category wise so for profile details you can select profiles for addresses you can go on saved addresses for privacy and security you have that option also you have logout option and change language option on this particular page over here so yeah that's basic thing for the profile and change so if you want to change the photo you can just tap over here and you will be able to change your photo let's go to home screen now let's take a look at how you can simply uh, do transaction uh, by multiple options which are present in paytm application so the very first option is scan and pay so if you want to scan any qr code and do payment you have to select scan qr option and over here in this particular box you have to scan the qr code and on the next page you will get an option to enter amount and you have to enter the amount and then you have to proceed further you have to enter your upi pin and the transaction will be completed so this one is for scan qr payment so if you want to scan uh, the qr code and do the payment select scan and pay option so next option is to mobile if, you, if i select that on the next page you can just simply enter the name or the mobile number uh, to do the transaction. So if I enter any particular name or something, that person's na uh, name or number will be appear. You have to just tap on that. You have to select the particular amount and then you will be able to do the transaction. So the third option is to self account. So if I click on to self, uh, currently you can see there are two options, Paytm payment bank and Indescent bank and it is send money to. So under send money to, you have to select that particular bank in which you want the amount to be credited. So if I want to transfer uh, my amount from Indescent Bank to Paytm Bank, so under send money to, I will select Paytm Bank and I will click on proceed. On the next page, I will enter the amount and currently you can see amount will be debited from my Indescent Bank account and it will be credited to my Paytm payment bank. So if I enter 100 rupees or 1000 rupees over here, once the amount is entered, you have to click on play and on the next page, you have to enter the UPI pin and you have to click on tick mark sign and then the transaction will be completed so these uh, steps are common or these steps are same in each and every transaction no matter you select scan payment or something even after scanning the qr you will be on this page so you have to just enter the amount and you have to click on pay then you have to enter upi pin and the amount will be transferred so the last option is to bank account now if i select to bank account option over here there are multiple options uh, in this particular page so one is enter bank account details second option is enter upi id third option is enter mobile number which we saw just now and fourth option is to self uh, we have also seen this option and last option is search so if you want to transfer amount for, by using bank details you have to enter uh, you have to select enter bank details 
and on the next page for example if you are transferring your money to your friend's account so if his account is in kotak bank so you will select that particular bank you will enter his account number and you will just have to click on proceed so we will do that very quickly so once the account number is entered uh, ifsc code is optional so it is okay if you don't enter the ifsc code you have to just click on proceed and once you click on proceed it will verify the account and it will show you an option of add as beneficiary so you can click on that particular option and on the uh, next page you will get an option of proceed to pay so if i click on proceed to pay we are once again on the payments page so you have to enter the amount if you want to add any message you can add and you just have to click on pay so for example if i want to transfer 1000 rupees after entering the amount i will click on pay and on the next page i just have to enter six digit upi pin and once it is done you have to click on tick mark sign at the bottom and the transaction will be completed so these are the four methods by which uh, you can simply transfer the money in paytm application or through paytm application so yeah again in uh, bank account option uh, we have second option as upi id so if you don't want to enter bank details and ifsc code each and every time uh, you do have an option of enter upi id so if i select that all you have to do is you have to enter the upi id over here so for example as i said earlier if you want to transfer an amount to your friend so you have to enter his upi id over here so i will do that very quickly and i will show you after entering the upi id you have to click on proceed at the bottom and once the upi id is verified uh, you will be on this particular page now on this page you have to click on pay option and after selecting pay once again we got that page you have to enter amount you have to add any message if you want to you can add just click on pay and on the next page you have to enter upi id or upi pin and then your transaction will be completed so let's go back to home screen now payment methods over here so we just checked out how uh, scan and pay work how you can transfer money through a mobile number how you can transfer money through self account means you are transferring uh, money from your one account to another account and if you want to transfer money to someone else you have to select to bank account now if you want to check out your transaction history which is uh, the payments which you have done you have to check out that history you have to select balance and history option and on the next page you will be able to check out all your transaction which you have done previously so we'll be able to check out the date and time of the transaction you will be able to check out the amount and if you want to apply any filter you just have to click on filter option and you can select any particular filter over here and you are good to go so this is the way by which you can simply check out your balance history so that's pretty much it uh, today we saw how uh, what are the payment methods how you can do profile uh, changes by clicking on profile how you can add a bank account how you can delete a bank account how you can add card how you can uh, change your upi pin so these are the basic uh, main features in any upi application which we mostly use so i hope you have got an idea how you can use paytm application and its features so still if i uh, forgot to mention anything please let me know in comment section and i will definitely try to make a video on that particular topic so that's pretty much it for today's video guys if you like this video hit that like button share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this so i will see you all in the next one thank you